Chief Minister Nong Thong Bambirain says priority of BJP 2.0 government is to provide super specialist doctors in every health district of hospital. Combined team of police and locals destroy illegal poppy plantation on around 15 acres of land at Chawang Kinning area of Kaubru Hill Range. NIA team arrests six persons including a Myanmar national for their alleged involvement in funding of proscribed militant groups. Team also recovers 30 lakh rupees. Education Minister T.H. Basantu Kumar says ongoing agitation by students' bodies with regards to Dhanamanjuri University is due to lack of information. Manipur government to start movement of files and deaths of all administrative departments, directorate societies, agencies and PSUs on e-office platform with effect from April 1st. People observe 34th Drivers' Day at various parts of Manipur today in honor of drivers for their selfless contributions. And today, 19th state level Kachai Lemon Festival 2023 held successfully at Kachai Village in Ukrul District. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. And I'm Premi Thangjim bringing you the headlines in details. Chief Minister Nong Thomban Birin says priority of the BJP 2.0 government is to provide super specialist doctors in every Hill District hospitals. He was speaking at Emerging Manipur 2023, a state level celebration on Manipur ranking the most improved small state overall for three consecutive terms as per the State of States Survey 2022 of India today. Planning Department, Government of Manipur organized the event at City Convention Center in Palace Compound. Chief Minister N. Birin appealed to DCs and SPs to abide by rules and regulations while executing their duties. Highlighting the problems caused by deforestation, the Chief Minister asked the forest officials to educate the people on forest-related laws and implement the same. He warned of taking strict actions against forest officers if they fail to curb illegal encroachment in reserved forest areas and illegal poppy plantation howre bano government jike koi priority je hoje singi districts no laiba hospital sing se super specialist ki facility biba any serious hoy ba ana abake do la poka anda district hospital do the masana masabu madai the laing bom thambai je madai koi priority pi doi district hospital sing se koi super specialist ki Status the Pukalakanda ICU, a law in a facility, ma'am, Tamakanda, Madu operational, we handba, Hibase. But you know, this is in a Nangi revenue district lay in a lena, already in the map, already in the record. But why you are recognizing a village or a portion beyond your jurisdiction? Adi Kanabasi Kanana Hole, this is in a hole. Geographically, map lay raba, boundary lay raba to keep beyond the Karigidam and a Kunam recognized or you know. Short films on Manipur's achievements and tele ICU and CMHA were screened during the function. Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar and DGP P. Dongal made a detailed power presentation on various development projects and law and order improvement in the state. Chief Secretary's presentation highlighted that government is implementing externally aided projects EAP worth 
5,712 crores and has another 9,141 crores worth projects in the pipeline. During the function, Enbiren honored the Chief Secretary DGP, Head of Departments, DCs, SPs with citation and gifts. To promote sustainable economic growth and generate large-scale employment opportunities in the state of Manipur, the Chief Minister launched the Manipur Startup 3.0 during the event. Chief Minister N. Birain appreciated all the officials who had worked selflessly with dedication and the people of the state who incessantly support the government. He assured that the government is implementing numerous developmental projects for the welfare of the people in various sectors like construction of roads, tourist attraction sites, reforesting of the deforested hills. He stated that solution to a problem can be achieved through collective and dedicated efforts. Food hills in the reserve forest in the food hills in the OP or Posalo, Tamo, protected forest in the Gizagada, Tamo, Prasasing a coordinate later on the forest, Prasasing sing the Ganaba Panga functional. Zoom cultivation, a quinta thing among a way until the less a quick alternative PD of our. I don't know, quick canoe, TN Hills key minister, and a quick canna, Tana, Kano, Jixiaque, terrace cultivation, a quick canna, quick Japanese Kambu, Sapan Gito, and Honori. In the meantime, was it immediately deforestation, my amse? Deforestation to I come in I don't know who's and I quite drone liar, drone home later. I do a quick helicopter must be arrogant. We can take only helicopter to the Kapraga. I do soil to soak the work. I get a kind of poppy shimmer, loin a maduna capaga, loisalamatung with a quick ukapa, the umaru, umaru sequay, flight can no drone shinner, umaru capa say. Heck, must be Marsky Rajan, Marsek Horopoga. Combined team of police and locals to destroy illegal poppy plantations in Kangpokpi district today, extending support to the government's war on drugs mission. Police team led by Kangpokpi SP TH Bikramjit, along with people of Liang Mai, Naga, and Nepali community in a concerted efforts, destroyed poppy plants grown at around 15 acres land at Chawang Kinning area of the Kaubru Hill Range. The drive was carried out by the police team, including Kangpokpi SP, additional SP Abdul Kalam, and Kangpokpi Police Station OC, along with personnel of NAP. Kangpokpi Forest members of Liang Mai Naga Council Eastern Zone, Ahan Gruak Chief Chairman Association, and villages of Paurel Nepali Basti. The team, accompanied by media persons, used swords and sticks to destroy the illicit plants. They also burned down huts used by poppy planters and seas pesticides and insecticides along with sprayers. Speaking on the sidelines, Kangpokpi SPTH Bikramjit loaded the people of Liang Mai and Nepali community for supporting the war on drugs. Speaking on the sidelines, President of Ahan Gruak Liang Mai Chief Chairman Association and Chief of Chawankining Village, CH Ushobo, alleged that the area where poppies were planted originally belonged to Chawankining, however, Villages of Shejang and Kolen, which are inhabited by Kuki, started planting poppies forcefully under the protection provided by militant outfits under suspension of operation. He maintained that agreement was signed in 2021 with the then Kangpokpi OC Sunil Kumar assuring that Liang Mai Naga community living in Kangpokpi area will continue to stand against drugs. He said the reason for participating in today's drive was as a part of the agreement. He assured that the Liang Mai Naga community will continue to destroy poppy plants from areas inhabited by the community. As part of the Manipur government's ongoing war on drugs mission, the Manipur government has received drones which are capable of spraying herbicides. As part of the intensifying war on drugs, flight tests and demonstrations of the newly acquired three drones were carried out at official residence of Chief Minister today. Speaking on the sidelines, Chief Minister N. Birin expressed confidence that these drones would be able to spray herbicides on poppy fields located in far-flung hilly areas. He also appealed to the people of the state to give the support in completely rooting out drug menace from the state.
NIA arrest six persons, including a Myanmar national, for the alleged involvement in funding of prescribed militant groups. 30 lakhs rupees in cash were also seized from them. A team led by the SP of National Investigation Agency, NIA, in Falt Branch, along with personnel of 5th Sam Rifles, conducted raids at Moray and four other places in Tegnopal district at around 6 p.m. yesterday. The raid lasted till late night. During the raid, the team arrested six people. However, NIA has so far abstained from revealing as to which band outfits the arrested persons are linked with. Preliminary findings pointed out that the various valley-based underground groups have collected crores of rupees through them. Some incriminating items were also seized during the raid. More arrests are expected in the coming days following the arrest of these six people. Education Minister T. H. Basanta Kumar clarifies that the ongoing agitation spearheaded by six students' bodies with regards to the Dhanamanjuri University is due to lack of information. He says, DM University is an autonomous institution with its own administration set up and government has no role to play in its administration and other matters. He was speaking at an interaction program with students who are going to write class 10 and 12 examinations today. Department of Psychiatry, RIMS, organized a program titled Panthung Yauna Bapambai at RIMS Jubilee Hall. Many class 10 and 12 standard students from various schools attended the program. Experts shared invaluable knowledge about how to face exams without fear. Speaking further, Minister Basanta Kumar said DM University Act 2017 prescribed that Government cannot interfere in the administration of DM University, which is an autonomous institution. He said that the only role of government is to provide fund and infrastructure and to give guidance and the matter regarding appointments of employees are solely handled by the university. Reiterating that the present chaos in university due to agitation by students is caused by lack of information and understanding. He urged the students to be in classrooms. The minister also said the demand by students for his resignation is unfair as the issue is a five-year-old issue and he has been education minister for only five months. He assured that he would take necessary actions to improve the condition of the university. DMU Gumba rims kum se autonomous institutions neva administrative setup se masan to je gadam neva akoi na khud thing jan bia deba magi DMU act 2017 the yauzari banava sahi manga taru hogalak pagi so many issues will be there akoi thaba kai no fund wal han daba mara mot guide to biba infrastructure wal hu daba adu ko oza ha pagi adagi ama to bagi adu mi am na khoi thabak na tiwa adu ko mi khran in salaga heta chalo agitator so education minister resign to ko haibu masi am lal in san Students in the Inshallah streets such a land was here. Students in the class league of the I need one, two years to perform. Tamanga the Lakangari, Sahitaru, Leramaba, issues me amdo, Tamanga the in Lunica my salt of Gungani. Addressing the class 10 and 12 standard students, Education Minister T. H. Basanta Kumar said. Class 10 and 12 exams are watershed moments in the life of students that could pave a new direction to one's journey. It is the first major step towards big competitive exams like civil services exams. Expressing confidence that the interactive session would be able to give guidance to students in facing the upcoming exams, Minister Basanta Kumar expressed his desire to be held. For similar program to be held in other parts of Manipur, as well as assured that education department will extend it necessary help. He also stressed on the need for students to have good, curious minds and to understand the fast-changing trends in education. He added that the world is changing and there is even a chance of robots replacing humans in all the activities. The education minister urged the students to be prepared for the coming change. RIMS director in charge, Dr. L. Ranjit, head of RIMS psychiatry department, Professor R.K. Lenin, and head of department of clinical psychology, RIMS, Dr. N.G. Samita, took part in the event. 
IS exam, medical exam, I am not going to do it. I am not going to do it. Face to be experienced, I am not going to do it. Class 10 is enough. Next of course is class 12. So, very important. But again, I am going to do an interactive session. I am going to do it. I am stressed out. So that you don't get stressed out. You don't get too much of a you know, burden on you. I am first competitive exam. I am not going to do it. I am not going to do it. I am not going to do it. Calm down. At the same time, perform to your optimum. Maximum performance without getting stressed out. On the other hand, five student bodies today refuted to the claim made by Deputy Secretary of Higher and Technical Education yesterday regarding non-involvement of Education Minister and Education Commissioner in the present issue of DM University. Reacting to a press note issued by Deputy Secretary of Higher and Technical Education, representative of the five student bodies and president of case A. Bidyananda said, the Deputy Secretary seems to undermine the role of Education Minister and Commissioner. He said the whole issue of DM University went out of control after Education Minister and Commissioner failed to resolve the matter on time. He demanded resignation of Education Minister and Commissioner for failing to do their duties. While welcoming Chief Minister's assurance to resolve the issue of DM University, speaking at an event held at Sangai Thil, Bidyananda urged the relevant authorities to bring an amicable solution to the whole issue. Movement of files and docs of all administrative departments, directorates, societies, agencies and PSUs under the government of Manipur shall be on the e-office platform with effect from April 1, 2023. Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar has issued a notification in this regard by orders and in the name of Manipur Governor. It further notifies that all old physical files which are required should be digitized and brought into the e-office platform. People observed 34th Drivers' Day at various parts of Manipur today in honor of drivers for their selfless contributions. 34th Drivers' Day was observed today by paying homage to 334 drivers who lost their lives on line of duty. Joint Coordinating Committee 34th Drivers' Day Observation 2023 under the ages of all Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Moto Workers Union organized the event at Interstate Bus Terminal ISPT in Kumalam Park. Speaking at the event, Transport Minister Kashim Vashum called upon everyone to acknowledge the contributions of drivers in the society. He assured that the government will initiate various welfare projects for the drivers. Minister Vashum maintained that drivers play a major role in connecting people of hills and valley. He also urged drivers to adhere to rules and regulations set by government and relevant departments. Minister Kashim Vashum said the government is planning to add a race house and parking facility in the newly inaugurated interstate truck terminal in Sekmai along with construction of approach road to the terminal. He also announced that a health camp will be held as a part of Road Safety Week at MST Complex on January 17th. Driver sing sigi importance here. A coin a kung dub di, a quiggy punji si, driver ki kutale, driver singi sacrifice si, a quin mayamna, kung biba, chitaga le, highway singa, driver singi potanina si su ego gun the proposal to Roga Musima si su driver singi, state highway the Jemba National Highway the Jemba Siki Tamanga so a quay, gun the Honadun le, West Haida, Nohigi, Katakamari Sukra potanina si kumasi, Pakanaba and the gun the Honadun le, ISTD, Sagmaida the Udabasi the su, driver singi. 
parking facilities to lay number, rest house kit, the resting of drivers singing the Makasu, Sida, Equinamista Yoga, was the Sagmaida, Kandata, no great Tokiba, Aduda Suji, a pros from the Atejim Sida Supatana, a question being about Kana Honadu Lane. Speaking at the event, convener of Joint Coordinating Committee 34th Drivers Day Observation 2023, Maimum Anil said, the day was observed to commemorate the seven-day-long protest carried out by drivers at Koiringai All Air Field on January 14, 1990 against discrimination and violence meted out to drivers on national highways. He appealed to support and appreciate the sacrifices of drivers' community and not to use words that demean the profession as it could motivate the drivers. Blankets were distributed to over 1,000 drivers who attended the event. Singam Sung Tam the Labour Praza Sing the Aquino Tam Zaning Wapam D. Sang Labella Bisida, Manipur Praza Sing the Mukta, Equisana, Tanawa Hidalang Tuk, the Singamas Driver Singa, the Southern Highway in Kalama Pulambi, and the Ziriban Ramisida, Lakum Tam Sida, Singam Sung Tam the Labour Praza, Kurimanga, Equi, Driver Sing, Mohoi Yang Nabate, Driver Sing the Aquigi, Mapong Kudimokta, Gari Yaktravasu, Kayuma, Garigi, Kayum Pivam, Laktakasu, Equi Yang Nabate, Mapong Kudimokta, Hui Yumni, Hagi Panda, Equi Mapong Kudimoka, Kamil, the Jerini, Masipunamaks, Kambira, Singam Sung Tam the Labour Praza Punavana, Equi Driver Nuks. Manipur Drivers Association MDA Highway Truck Owners Association Organization Senapati District Truck Drivers Union Senapati District Truck Owners Association and all Manipur Gorkha Drivers and Owners Association also observed 34th Manipur Drivers Day at Manipur Press Club today. Addressing the event, Social Welfare Minister Haikam Dingo recalled the great contributions made by drivers during the COVID-19 pandemic. He appealed to everyone to respect their sacrifices and contributions to society. <laughs> Society ma, natrakana state ma, chakalak na bohona bata. Kasi akoy gi drivers sing lowri ba role sing. Acho ba role ni hai dana i. Tamay na thamlingi maru ay na akoy drivers sing thagat tapong amde lairi ba. Tum ba cha ba khang dana thawai kuwaak ta ha pa kanda. Awa ana adagi khudong thi ba kaya ama akoy mayok na rakanda. Mahoy na gari si thau rakanda akoy prajagi dama kta hona ba si masi akoy thagat pam thoi adu akoy maya punam mga su mahoy bu puning thagat pam thoi i hai dana i. Tamay na thamlingi aduna matam punam magta akoy lairi ba akoy gi Sarkar nasu, koi association nasi ki, koi matam matam dugi tangai fada ba grievances mayam koi taagani hai basi musu ayi mayam da thamzani ni. Thirty fourth Gualtabi Yangangpopi Road Transport Association GYRTA Drivers Day come thirty six GYRTA Annual Grand Feast Day was observed today. Lamlai MLA K H Bomcha, GYRTA President Modhu Chandra, Jila Parishad A Jamini, Lamlai Police Station O C Binod Kumar, Traffic Police O C M Dipak and Telhojana Pradhan and H Nimai grace the event. Attendees paid tributes to three late drivers of the association. Current members were felicitated on the occasion. Tidim Road Buses Owners Drivers Union Sisipur also organized its 13th Drivers Day program at Laishang Football Ground. Flora tributes were paid to the departed drivers of the union. All Ziribam Road Transport Drivers Union AJRTDU also observed its 27th. Drivers a Day at Jiribam's Hill Ghat Community Hall today. Speaking on occasion, Manipur Building and other construction workers welfare both. Chairperson K. Sarat Kumar said, All is set for making labor cards for Tata drivers of Manipur hands. Drivers may submit their list. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
All Hairok Auto Owners and Drivers Action Committee also organized Drivers Day program at Hairok Part 2 Mayai Legai Ground today. The program was organized for the 16th time on a theme, Sacrifice for All. Floral tributes were paid to drivers who laid down their lives while doing their duty. Gifts were presented to families of departed drivers and auto drivers who are currently serving as a member of the association. Secretary of Thaubal District Auto Association, Apunba Ning Thaucham Jiban, General Manager of Manipur Motor, HC Jail Manipur Motors Ning Thaucham Shursanta Kaisham Binita, Secretary of Champrathong to Wangjing Association, Sanasam Chauba, attended the program. Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Tauchom Satya Bratta conveys greetings to drivers community on Manipur of Manipur on Drivers Day today. Two-day long 19th state level Kachai Laman Festival at local ground of Kachai village in Ukrul district concluded today. The festival was held on the theme, Promotion of Natural Farming by Kachai Fruit Farming and Processing Cooperative Society Limited. RDNPR Minister Yumnam Kim Chan inaugurated the festival yesterday in the presence of Wang Kai MLA, Thangjam Adun Kumar and other dignitaries. Farmers who produce maximum lemon and most Flavorful lemon were rewarded with cash prizes. Speaking at the opening event, which was marked by various cultural performances, Minister Yumnam Kemchan assured that a rural hut will be constructed for Kachai lemon growers by March. He encouraged them to increase the production of Kachai lemon by procuring Kachai saplings and availing them to the people through RD and PR. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Thangjam Arun Kumar said that Kachai lemons have unique taste and the same taste cannot be acquired if grown outside the village. He appealed to the villagers to mark efforts to further increase the production of the GI tag Kachai lemon. <laughs> ลำดับสิ่งที่พูดถึงว่ากระจายเลมันกี่ปลาเดชันเสียคุยรูเรลดีเวลอปเมนต์นะสุมาสิลำดับสิ่งที่พูดถึงว่าซาร์สิ่ง
We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. of success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNECO School, Excellence in Education. I love kangaroo kids, it's the happiest place I'll be. They show me frogs and turtles and things and teach me how to smile. They learn me big important words and tell me green from white. I love kangaroo kids, it's the happiest place I'll be. My teachers really love me, they make me feel so cool. So every day I wake up and yell, Mama, I want to go to school. I, I love kangaroo. Khan Study Group, KSG. Admission to opened. Nasi Fauba, Old India, Topar Kaya Putokut Natna. Manipurgi IAS Kaya Putokliba, Khan Study Group, Infal the Hang Doctorate. Experience Lerba Delhi Gi Faculty Makna Takwi Tambiriba Institute Ni. Kudong Chaba Asi Lobby Ho. Lakliba January Gi Tarik Taraga Tarup Tagi. General Foundation Course Hokjaragani. Masida Sunatana. Advanced Foundation Course Optional Papers. NCERT Courses and Answer Writing Skills Development Programs with Hamjuri. Akupamarol Gidamak Ekwegi Ki Samthong Hodam Director Labor Office Ter Natraga. 9650245599. Presto personalized wonders. Imphal the na una hangdok chere. Hai personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na ching ba potlam sing. Ma pamasi da phangbi gani. Na si maglang sing bira u. Tilakras Enterprises. Presto Tangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong Imphal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. India added 178 new COVID-19 cases, 208 recoveries and one death case in last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active case load stands at 2,227. Death toll stands at 5,30,726, over 220 crore, 16 lakh, 78,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Manipur did not report any positive cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. There is no active case of COVID-19 in Manipur at present. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 67 crore, 10 lakh, 26,000 people. It has claimed above 67 lakh, 29,000 people and recoveries are above 64 crore, 21 lakh, 14,000. Lang Thabal MLA Karam Shyam appealed to government employees to refrain from corruption and to let themselves be swayed by political influence. He was speaking at the felicitation of Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Examination 2016 to 2020 passed out candidates from Standard Robert Higher Secondary School today. The school management committee organized the event in the school auditorium in Kanchipur. MLA Karam Shyam encouraged students to refrain from intoxicants and dedicate themselves to the pursuit of education with determination. Corruption. Saikul MLA Kim Neo Hangsheng today inaugurated a new classrooms, office and study hall of concept coaching center in Fall at New Lumberland. AGM Com of AAI Manko Thang, Secretary of Education S. Thangmoy Haukip, social worker, let's say Haukip, also attended the program. A seminar on various competitive exams, including MPSC exam, was held as a part of the program with Mang Million, Wi-Fi, MCS and SL. 
kam kohau MPS as mentors. Kang Pokpi DC King Zuringla today chaired the first district level to officers DLO's meeting of the year to discuss various agendas pretending to be to the district of at the conference hall of the DC office complex. Discussion were held regarding the upcoming Republic Day celebration in the district and duties assigned to the various departments, visit of Chief Secretary to the district, review on the status report of government offices and its premises within the district, convergence program, revision of performance on Hill, district hill leaders, they and Miam Ginumit, 13 flagship programs, among others. month-long production-oriented children theatre workshop on personality development and talent hunt, which was organized as an extension program of National School of Drama New Delhi by Ken Jolang, concluded today at the JN Dance Academy, Manipur. Speaking on the occasion, Director of Social Welfare NG Uttam said, inculcating discipline and manners in children during their formative years can help in enhancing their personalities and it can further help in taking the society towards the right direction. He also stressed on the need to introduce Gurukul system to facilitate learning with discipline. He also emphasized on the need to organize similar workshop by using rupees 1 lakh production grant provided under Chief Minister Gi Aarti Singh Iteng Bank scheme. Arun culture to show Chief Minister ki artist singi tengbang ana lai rizida theater ki production grant hai na lupalak ama pi bagi sab scheme ma yau ri bani. Si ki production grant se dum lobby raga shukum ba workshop se dum chang nae na sinbi bayai. Team jing do jazing na khanbi ra khanbi raga ma si isma lobby bayai. Aduga social welfare ki hoy na ai na khanja basi housing mark hekta tau bay arani hai ba makti khandri. Yagdra na khan basi akoi ki children home maya ama lai. Children home yang khai muk lai basi da angang maya ama lai moe si government ki saite ta ki grant bhi bani na. Children home da lai di ba angang jing si sumai na moe ki home ki lai ba grant tu da ki khara kai thu haga. Shikun ba workshop macha macha shin ba yabra hai. Engal si mai yang jage adu kum ba yabra targa di na sai ki children home cha lai di ba jing si na su thawai yau bhi rakpa targa di. Masi adu ki mati kaana gani na khan jai. Renowned Shumang Lila artist Mutum Ibomcha, who is popularly known by his stage name Santosh, passed away yesterday at the age of 77. The artist from Urembam Awanglaikai enacted various roles in many Sumang Lila, including Wakchingi Gulab, Devdas, Khoimugi Hu, Matamgi Nongbal, and Nungshibi Imphal. As part of the ongoing agitation against the cabinet's decision to legalize alcohol in the state, said and we are organizing Imphal East District's Lamde Mayai Laikai Community Hall by all Manipur women, social reformation and development Samaj Nupi Samaj Lamde Mayai Laikai, Makha Laikai, Mayrapai B and Kata. Protesters raised slogans against the government's decision to legalize alcohol in the state and also to take back its decision. Physical efficiency tests for the recruitment of Manipur Police Department's Head Constable Telecom, Police Constable Mail or Civil and Follower Mail earlier scheduled from January 16th to March 16th has been postponed until further notice. As a part of the security measures taken by Manipur Police in view of the upcoming Republic Day celebrations, Imphal West District Police Commando team carried out cordon and search operations at various places in the district today. 120 people including 11 bailouts of various prescribed outfits from around 70 households at Hairangoi Thong, Jagannath, Achau Balayrak and Ahong Sang Bam Laikai were verified from 6.10 a.m. till to 8.20 a.m. No one was arrested. Police team also carried out such drives from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in Nagamapal, Naganala, Ngari Gali, Bora Gali and at Kasturi Bridge area. 130 people were verified out of which five people without any identity proof were picked up during the drive and handed over to city police station for further verification. Mm -hmm. 
Imphal West District Police Commando Team further carried out certain verification drives in the afternoon from 3 p.m. till 3.30 p.m. at Mazid Road, Kakulong, Pauna Bazar and Kwai Thong. 120 people were verified of which three without any identity proof were picked up and handed over to City Police Station for further verification. Bishnupur District Police Commando team also carried out search operation at Dambol Bazaar today. 65 people were verified. No one was arrested. Indigenous People's Upliftment Lipul Press Not informs that the organization has elected a new office bearers for 2023 to 2026 term following an annual general body meeting held at Kwakaitel High School. Somendro Tokchum will serve as its president. And now the sports news. LCCC Lilong Chajing will take on KCC Kongba in the final of the 19th Manipur Veteran Cricket Tournament. In a second semi final match played today at Lukir, ground between Cyclone Thangmaiban and KCC Kongba, Cyclone Thangmaiban elected to bat first and mid. 96 runs in 23.4 overs for the loss of all wickets. KCC Kongba's bowler Jana picked up four wickets, while Sanjoy Devakanta and Robinson picking two wickets each. In reply, KCC Kongba reached a target in 17 overs by losing just one wicket. In Devakanta made an unbeaten 52 runs and was awarded a man of the match. The final match will be played on January 16th. All Manipur Polo Association Secretary General H. Leonid informs that the 38th Man State Level Polo Tournament will begin from tomorrow under the ages of all Manipur Polo Association at Imphal Polo Ground. 23 polo teams from across the state will compete on knockout basis. Chinkai Gunba Polo Club will meet Kurai Polo Club in the opening match. Social Development Organization Palel enters the finals of the 17th DSA Trophy State Level Invitation Football Tournament. Under the ages of all Manipur Football Association organized by District Sports Association Kaching. In today's first semi final match, Social Development Organization Palel defeated Social Welfare Club Kairak 4 3. For the winners, Gage Debrat scored two goals, W Dhanachandra scored one goal, and Social Welfare Club Kairak's Gage Arnold scored one goal. For the losing team, Mohamed Samir, TH Bumkim, and TH Ronaldo scored one goal each. Seven teams competed on a knockout basis of the football tournament. Sena Athletes Organization Kakching will meet United Brothers Sporting Association Mangtak in second semi final match on January 16th. Shadow, Thangmai Bund, and Oscar Paunlakaitel emerged victorious in the seventh MNCA played cricket tournament. In the matches played today, Shadow Thangmaiban defeated YPHU Lalambung by five wickets. Electing to bet first, YPHU Lalambung set a target of 103 runs in 18 overs, losing all its wickets. In reply, Shadow Thangmaiban reached the target in 18 overs by losing just five wickets. Thus, winning the match by five wickets, Shadow Thangmaiban's all rounder Parash Sharma was adjudged. Man of the match for his unbeaten 68 runs, knocked and two wickets. In another match played today, Oscar Paunakaitel defeated MAPA Kakching Thaunaujam by 213 runs. Batting first, Oscar Paunakaitel set a target of 259 runs, losing all its wickets. In reply, MPA Kakching Thaunaujam were bundled out for just 46 runs, thus losing the match by... 213 runs. In the next matches, SDC Laipam Kuna will take on YWC Patsoi, while KIYC Ketriga will face Napsa Ka Impha. Before we conclude, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nongthomba Birin says priority of BJP 2.0 government is to provide super specialist doctors in every hill district hospitals. Combined team of police and locals destroy illegal poppy plantation on around 15 acres of land at Chawankining area of Kaubru Hill Range. NIA team arrests six persons, including a Myanmar national, for the alleged involvement in funding of proscribed militant groups. Team also recovers 30 lakh rupees.
Education Minister T. H. Basanta Kumar says ongoing agitation by student bodies with regards to Dhanamanjari University is due to a lack of information. Manipur government to start movement of files and drafts of all administrative departments, directorates, societies, agencies and PSUs on e-office platform with effect from April 1st. People observe 34th Drivers Day at various parts of Manipur today in honor of drivers for their selfless contributions. And today, 19th state level Kachai Lemon Festival 2023 held successfully at Kachai Village in Ukhul District. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipur Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Till then, good night and stay safe.